Africa is a wealthy continent in terms of natural resources. However, it is rarely the African countries or the local communities who benefit from the wealth. Multinational companies are increasingly seizing control and ownership of African resources, and the oceans are no exception. This is called ocean grabbing. Ocean grabbing means that the control of fish stocks that have historically been of benefit to the local fishing communities are suddenly taken over by multinational companies and other powerful actors, for instance, through privatization of the oceans. As a result, small-scale fishers lose their access and rights to the resources and pond which their livelihood has traditionally depended on, without ever being heard or included in the decision-making process. Ocean grabbing has severe environmental and social consequences. In the pursuit of profit, overfishing reduces the biodiversity of the oceans. Industrial fisheries cause large amounts of bycatch that end up as trash instead of food. And the money ends up in the hands of a few while the local communities suffer the consequences. Pollution, unemployment, poverty, and food insecurity. Ocean grabbing creates an unjust redistribution of the ocean resources with few winners and many losers. But fighting against ocean grabbing can pay off. Take South Africa, for example. When the government initiated the privatization of the fishery resources, 45,000 small-scale fishers lost access to the sea overnight, while the large-scale industry took over a majority of the country's fishery resources. But the local fishers joined forces and mobilized in the fight for their rights to the ocean's resources. And through a difficult struggle over several years, they succeeded in getting the government to listen to their rightful claims. Worldwide, 800 million people depend on a small-scale fishery, but ocean grabbing is gathering speed and threatening small-scale fisheries and communities all over the world. With inspiration from South Africa, small-scale fisheries are joining forces in an international network in order to fight against the global privatization push so that the sale of our commons can be stopped before it's too late. Our oceans are not for sale. Let's stand together and support the fisher people's fight for a fair distribution of the ocean's resources.